Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to the Facebook Live, TWR Facebook Live, and uh, also uh, I wanted to uh, say Happy Valentine's Day to to all of you. Uh, today is a uh, Valentine's Day, so I think, uh, I guess it is a day that uh, uh, connection of love, friendship, um, so I think it's, a, it's always good to have uh, any uh, reason to think about connection, think about love, um, and uh, celebrate connection, celebrate love, so I wanted to wish you all uh, special day of the love. Um, today's, uh, particularly today's uh, topic is the healing through awareness and the wind, or precious winds. So, uh, so basically, uh, I want all of you to think that this, this title has healing, uh, awareness, and precious winds. So this is a healing through uh, awareness and precious winds. So, of course, when we think about uh, the precious winds, uh, so I'm saying this word precious winds because it's in the, it's in the connection of Maju. So this is the book. It's a uh, Maju Sanjay Jusum. Uh, it's a one of the most important. Uh, tantric um, teachings in the Bion tradition, and this is where uh, I teach the dream and the sleep and the different forms of uh, healing practices. So this is where actually it talks about the precious winds. So uh, precious winds, of course, when we say precious, it's like a rumbuche jewel. Um, so. Uh, According to this ancient tradition, uh, there is so many different uh, categories of uh, winds, the subtle winds, gross winds, and each each time, each of these different winds affects. It talks a lot, lot deep, deep knowledge on these uh, uh, knowledge of winds, precious winds. So, uh, of course, uh, we don't have so much time to go talk so much about all these things, but. Uh, just I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, precious winds, awareness. So, what we're trying to heal is our think about our disease, think about our pain, think about our blockages, think about our uh, moods, think about our karma. Um, these are the things that we're trying to heal, and so. Uh, of course, everybody talks about the healing. So, uh, here a specific thing what is talking about is talking two things: the awareness and precious winds. So, I have posted uh, on my Facebook uh, page uh, the it's called Nine Winds. So, basically, there's a chart that I have posted there. Nine winds. Um, so the concept here is that whole creation of universe, whole creation of humanity, in some sense, begins the law of these nine winds, and and also ends with some sense a law of these according to the law of these nine winds. So, um, so I will not again not go so much into the details about each. I wanted to talk more like a general. Uh, understanding behind it. So, so the first three is kind of as a group. I think it's very important. It says uh, the prana of space of burn nature, the prana of the bliss, bliss of the primordial wisdom, and the pr uh, prana of self arising innate awareness. So basically, the first three are like if you are familiar with when we say inner refuge or the pure awareness. So the first three are pure awareness, and uh, so if anybody who is able to 
be in that state of pure awareness or see through that pure awareness, um, act through that pure awareness, then it's, it's a healthier uh, way. One can think about it as a kind of healthier way of being. So once one loses that uh, pure awareness or the self-awareness, then one gets trapped into the prana or the prana number four, the horse of the wind, the prana of the horse of the wind. So basically, it is our, you think about our thought, think about our uh, conceptual mind, think about our grasping mind. So, so each single of our thought is related with a specific wind. So, so for example, uh, if I um, having a negative thought, so these negative thoughts are, uh, uh, it's a wind. Basically, it's these negative thoughts are wind. It's not only thought in the mind. It's a wind which through moves through your uh, body, through your heart, through your brain, through your every part of your cells in your body. So basically, uh, the mind and emotions are wind which flow through your body, through your heart, through your brain. For example, when people say something like uh, anger is a risk factor of the heart disease, or isolation, the loneliness is the risk factor of the heart disease, it's basically the loneliness is like a wind. The anger is wind, wind, wind that affects the breath, wind that affects, uh, contracts the heart, the wind that uh, produces problem in the heart, for example. So that's kind of one simple example. So, so basically, uh, these nine winds that I'm, I recommend you to look at closely, maybe it's difficult to understand everything, but at least if you are interested, you can look at them. And among those all the nine winds, I wanted to talk a little bit the uh, four of them. So, so number four, five, six, seven. So basically, these uh, later parts. So number four is basically your thoughts. So your all your thoughts, all your grasping minds, are a causes of your well-being or your. Uh, good health or bad health. Uh, either those thoughts will, uh, you have a beautiful life, healthy life, or those thoughts will produce a very difficult life and a very unhealthy life. And uh, because reason is these thoughts are winds. Um, they can be like a precious winds, they can be like a, a negative winds which produces a bad health. So, and then after that thought, um, number Five, which we are talking about the karmic wind, which is kind of difficult and a little bit difficult to understand, I suppose, for most of the people who don't understand what karma is. So uh, maybe just say a few words about it. The karma is basically a cause, uh, is it like a karmic traces, a traces uh, the energy of past actions of the past life or actions of the past. So basically, um, there is a karmic, a, f a powerful, forceful karmic winds in our self that sometimes when that wind blows in one direction, regardless of, uh, particularly when you have a, when you're weak, when you are not uh, uh, able to feel deep confidence and power within you, so karmic wind blows you in different directions in a life. Most basically, you, you just feel like you are kind of helpless not to choose your own life, you know, not to choose the decision, not, not to choose, not able to choose the direction. You are forced, forced to move in certain direction and forced to decide in a certain w way in your life. So these are karmic wins. Um, And then you have uh, mental afflictions. Uh, we say nyomo uh, bitsublung, the gross emotional winds. Basically, we all know uh, that uh, our emotion is uh, causing our health. Basically, if you are feeling love, uh, if you are feeling joy, if you are feeling 
generosity, if you are feeling empathy, if you are feeling compassion, kindness towards somebody, if you are feeling kindness toward yourself, self-compassion. And these emotions definitely have so much uh, to do with your well-being. So basically, um, your, being, your well-being has so much to do with this emotional wind. Uh, so of course, we, can, we all know those things, but in these contexts, in this teaching of Maju, the Mother Tantra, it uh, talks about precious winds. Lung Rinpoche. So, um, so basically, uh, these to under, what we are trying to understand here is this: these emotions are definitely causing. Uh, it's very important. Either it can cause very bad health, or it can making make the health worse, or it, it can heal, get better, or even you know uh, totally transform your life with these these positive emotions. So. That's the number six, for example, Nyomo uh, Bitsublung. And the number seven, which is where I wanted to stop, number seven is where it talks about health. Duwi uh, Tulung. Duwi Tulung is the health. So, uh, and then, of course, in, according, like in the Tibetan tradition, we talks about the um, uh, specific way of talking about the characterizing the three winds and so on. So I will not go into those things. So what I like to say here, is to, as a conclusion, the awareness and the precious wind. Um, it's very important for your overall well-being, your spiritual well-being, your well-being of your health. It's your own mind, your own emotion, um, is completely like responsible. So your mind is affecting your well-being, your health. So, so that is really like a, what um, what these teachings are saying here, and um, so, for example, um, the w precious wind number six, uh, the emotion. So, of course, we talk about five poisons. We talk about anger, attachment, ignorance, jealousy, and the pride. Uh, these five poisons, five negative emotions, are. Uh, definitely uh, a causes of our bad health so 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 let's say let's kind of conclude a little bit here let's reflect in our own lives so let's reflect in our own life okay so are, are you all ready to reflect in your own life think about it last uh, in one year or last three years, think about last one year and last three years. This is a very important moment. I want everybody to pay close attention to your life, uh, your life of last one year, two years, up to three years. Look at your life. I want Look at your life, how you think. What kind of thoughts you have. Are they very clear? Are they very positive, hopeful, productive, focused? Or are they, these thoughts are totally blown away with karmic winds? You don't know what you're thinking. It's so unclear, so doubtful. Very little focus. A lot of exhaustion. Minimum uh, accomplishment. What kind of thoughts that you have? Let's think about emotions. What kind of frequent emotions you feel? Frequently emotions you feel. Love, joy, 
empathy, compassion, kindness, caring, gratitude, a lot of trust, hope, or do you feel more frequently the other emotions? Fearful, helpless, angry, jealous, kind of negative thought, very judgmental. What kind of emotions, emotions that you are frequently feeling? Let's think about it. This is, this is, this is about more like experiential reflection, the self-reflection. I think, which is because many people can talk about um, these ideas. Many people can talk about theories nowadays. So many people talk about these different theories, but the practice is a different awareness. It's a different. And particularly, self-awareness is very different. So we are talking about practices, experiences. We are talking about awareness because it's the healing through awareness of precious winds. We are talking about awareness. And particularly, it's not about something, awareness of somebody else, somebody, something else. So it's not like a husband is always trying to be aware of all the things wife is not doing right. Especially today. <laughs> Especially today, not. It's a Valentine's Day, right? So you don't want to think about your partner, your husband, your wife, your friend, your sister, your brother, what they are doing wrong and what they can do right. No, because, and if you do, it is awareness, but it's not a self-awareness. Here, you wanted to think about self-awareness, so healing through awareness of precious wind. So the precious wind always go together with awareness. The reason why awareness have a power to heal it's because wind. Wind is the communicator. Wind is the processor. Because because the mind is doesn't mind doesn't move. The mind is more clear and pervasive quality. What moves, what changes, what develops, what processes, what communicates, what shifts is because of power of precious wind. So think about it. Think about your thought for last one to three years. Think about your emotions to once to three years. And then think about your health, how you're feeling health-wise. For, for one, last one, two years, three years, how's your health? If you are feeling well, how, you, how continuously you are feeling well. If you are not feeling well, the consequences of these thoughts and emotions over your health, which is you are not all feeling good, or any, already you are not feeling good, but how it's affecting you. So it's very important, you know, sometimes I always tell about one, one example is that one time I was in an aeroplane and uh, traveling, I, I, I met this woman who was sitting right next to me and uh, she has prepared a very healthy food and um, she seems very, very um, picky about the food, which is uh, it's fine, I, I think it's good to know, to be more aware or more more precise about what you eat. No, I don't have any problem with that. But what I felt is the level of anxiety 
agitation, a restlessness, unsettled, a search in the search mood all the time, no sense of stillness, no sense of that silence, no sense of that openness, no sense of that warmth, total restlessness with eating great healthy food. So I was thinking that, okay, if you're really trying to balance between these two, that mood, those thought, those emotions, those restlessness, those unsettling, no sense of, sense of stillness and silence, what this person on all those things, what will this will do to this person? Will that n nice, good salad will do more? All this bad agitation will do more? That's a good question. I'm not going to answer this question, but you, I, I'll let you think about it. I'll let you think about it. I mean, you can have a, a nice donut, cookie or something like that, a small one, with so much joy. Maybe it's unhealthy, but small one, with so much joy, so much playfulness, so much fun, and you sharing with somebody. Even you're eating not necessarily a good thing, but the way you're eating it probably has, it kind of processes the bad food. With the power of your wisdom and awareness, maybe it processes something. Of course, I'm not telling to eat the cookies <laughs> and uh, trying to say don't, healthy food is not good. Of course, I, I think it's really important to, to be very, very aware of what you eat and how much you eat and so on. But what I'm saying here, the reason why I'm saying here, because I, I live in, here in California, and I see people are definitely very, very conscious about the food, which is wonderful. I've learned a lot. But in the same people, I don't see their level of awareness of their mood, their level of awareness of their thinking patterns, their level of awareness of their pain, uh, emotions, their level of awareness of their interaction with other people. The awareness is missing. The precious wind is missing. Many times. So, so, so here, it's, I think it's very important. So, as we are talking here, I want you to think about your own last one year, two year, three year, how you are thinking, how you are uh, feeling emotions, how you are um, uh, mood, and, and how it is affecting your health. Because they are all has to do with something with uh, these awareness and precious winds. Okay, so so let's let's do a short meditation here. So for, for a moment I want all of you uh stop typing, clicking moment of Reflection, moment of self-reflection. So before we do that, practice of three doors. Bring your full attention to your body. Be aware of the stillness in your body. Be awareness of the stillness around you. Be awareness of the stillness in all uh, in sacred cyber sangha. Everybody who is meditating with us this very moment. Be aware of that stillness all around.
around the world. Be aware of the silence. Feel that silence in you, around you. Through you. And from all the sacred cyber sangha. a collective silence, a wisdom, a awareness of collective silence. Feel the spaciousness of your mind, the openness of your mind. Be aware of that openness of your mind. When you are aware, there is a wind of that openness. When you are aware of that silence, there is a wind, precious wind of that silence. When you are aware of that stillness in your body, there is a precious wind of that stillness in your body. There is a three different active precious winds are activated this moment in you. These winds are not a passive, they are active processor and healer. They are healing you and us all as a collective sense of healing is happening this very moment all around the world through this Cyber Sangha meditation. There is awareness, because you are aware of it, and there is a precious wind, the precious wind of that awareness. Now, gradually self-reflect, just to be aware in your life. Just think about this, this very moment. It's a very precious moment that you choose to be with me, be with all us together, and choose to self-reflect, and choose to heal precious moment and we are helping each other life it's not a recorded it's a life so self-reflect this moment as you have all this help for last three years two years one year Look at your life. Your thoughts. Winds of thinking mind. Grasping mind. Winds of emotions.
So maybe think three things. Your average mood, what kind of mood you are in most of the time, what kind of thoughts you have most of the time, what kind of emotional you feel most of the time, last one year, two year, three year. Just have some a breakthrough realization. Think about how much, it's not about how much you're doing, you're doing things or not doing things. How much this sense of being in you connected to that sense of being in you or losing that connection to the sense of being and always you are in that unsettled search mood. which is very bad also for your well-being, your health. So I hope that you have a great realization this moment, at least very clear what's happening in your life and clear enough, uh, clear with strength, clear with confidence that you feel the need or the realization to change that. Because it's like a wasting your life, wasting your time wasting these precious moments of life, deteriorating yourself, your health, your creativity, your connections, your friendships, just for a moment, breathe deep, just breathe deep, and just clear it out, all these exhaustions. Discomfort. Clear it. Take deep breathing. Like breathe like at least five times deep breathing and each time exhalation. Allow yourself fully to rest, not only rest, but rest into that sense of being and awake in that being through, that, through this restfulness.
and feel this sense of home. In that space, you are resting in that sense of home. You are resting like a child in the loving arms of mother with that connection and love. You are resting like somebody who have accomplished the task of the life, project of the life. That being, in that being, there is this unbounded sense of space. There is unbounded sense of awareness, presence. There is unbounded sense of knowing, connecting. These are the purest awareness and purest precious winds. Like the in the nine lung, nine wind, these are the first three winds. Unbounded space. Pyunichi Yinglung the prana of the space of burned nature. A sense of being in that sacred space. In that sacred space, you are connected to everyone else, every other people. Unbounded space. When you're aware of that unbounded space, that is the awareness, the purest awareness. When there is awareness, then there is a precious wind related to that awareness. And that precious wind is what is processing everything and healing and processing, clearing is the inner intelligence. That awareness is the inner intelligence, active inner intelligence, which does everything what requires, what is needed in your body and in your mind. And you trust that. When you are connected to that space, that awareness, natural, effortless healing is happening. That's why we say healing through awareness and precious winds.
Okay, so you can open your eye. Just so let me know. Uh, give me some feedback here. How how's your how's your meditation? Uh, how how did you? Uh, so there are, there are a number of questions that I wanted to ask you. Um, what did you learn by self reflecting in your life for last one to three years? How was your uh, your mood, average mood? How was your thought patterns? Uh, how was your emotion patterns? And and how these mood, thoughts, emotions affecting your well-being. If you are not well, then can you see one of the reasons why you are not well has caused by your average mood, your average thought, your average emotions. Because these are wins. As I said, number five, win five, win six, win seven. It's of course we talk about these things. I'm I mean I'm talking in the context of Maju Sanje Jusum. This is the Maju Sanje Jusum teaching book. Uh, it exactly when it talks about the nine wind and it's it's an incredible wisdom knowledge. They, they exactly talk that's that's exactly what it's talking about. And so do you realize something something special, really like a kind of wakes you up. I hope it just completely wakes you up. Realize something in yourself. We talked about you are not your pain. When you realize who you are not, helps you to realize who you are. So if you realize what one last three years, how your mood has been, your thought, thought has been, your emotion has been, and how it has affected your well-being, then clearly you do want to change them. And the changing them is to come in that through that three door to the inner refuge, inner essence, in the right place in yourself. So being so just kind of constantly watching and in that being in the right mood. Right mood will be that unbounded space, that up the infinite awareness, that warm kind of being there. Just imagine, for example, one specific case that you are sitting with a group of people together and people are talking about a political topic, a family topic, or to topic of some challenges they're trying to resolve, problems. Just think about that. In that conversation, you can see if you are being if you are in silence, in stillness, in spaciousness, you can feel more everybody's pain. You can hear more everybody's voice. You can f connect more with everybody. And just being there, being connected to everybody, hearing everybody, uh, listening to everybody, and uh, feeling this warm connection to everybody. And out of that stillness, silence, spaciousness, connection, warmth, something will come out and whatever comes out, everybody will relate to you much better. But Or maybe you realize there's nothing, not, nothing much to say at that moment. But your presence is good enough for everybody. You are helping with your silence more to them. You are helping your pre with your presence more to this group. You are helping this group with your warmth, kindness more than anything you are doing or saying or uh, is expecting. So, so just think about that. So it's not only you are feeling that kind of healing, you are also allowing other people to heal and experience these things. Yeah, so so conclusion, 
basically um, the conclusion here is that knowing about yourself situation for the last three years, your fourth wind, uh, wind, how you say, the wind number four, wind number five, the precious wind number six, and so on, and see how these uh, mood, thoughts, emotion, clearly seeing that and seeing how it has influences and affected you as current situation of your well-being. One, very clearly to be awake to see that clearly. Second, can you change in the future for next three years? Can you improve that? Can you improve your well-being, can you help? And if you wanted to, then apart from getting good exercise, eating the right thing, and you know, all those things for sure, very important. But what you can do, your lifestyle, can you be open? Can you stay more open? Can you be more presence, more silence? Can you be more aware? So awareness, awareness is the, the most important medicine in life. Awareness is the most important medicine in life. The self-awareness is the most important medicine in life. When you are self-aware, you are more likely to be aware around you and aware of others. How much things are happening in this world today, a lack of awareness of others. A lack of awareness of others' pain, lack of awareness of others' need, a lack of awareness of others' situation. Why this is happening? Because there is a lack of awareness of oneself. A lack of awareness of oneself, lack of awareness of others, what it creates? Disharmony, uh, pain, sickness, destruction. When the awareness is there, it changes everything. So, so I hope this was uh, helpful, and uh, of course, you know, this, this, the, all the discussion of nine prana, it's, it's very, very complex, very complex, but I think it's very fascinating, very, very interesting, uh, from pure awareness of the space to few, pure, uh, complete destruction of the universe, you know, like how a luck, how what that pure awareness can create a whole universe enlightened universe or lack of that pure awareness and uh, driven by ignorance ignorance how whole universe can be destroyed that universe can look one bigger sense that universe could be one country that universe could be one family that universe can be once yourself you like you are in a sense that whole thing but pure awareness to total destruction. In between, we have so much chances, of, uh, important role that we can play in, and all these roles can always play in with awareness. Okay, so so thank you very much, everybody, and uh, again, uh, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, have a great time. Um, connect with people that you love, you care, and find new connections, and uh, enjoy. It's like every connection is a medicine. Every uh, thing that you uh, feel with other people, share your joy, love, compassion, connection, and uh, they are true, 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 true medicine. So uh, 
um, they will help you, they will heal, heal you. And these are precious wins that we are talking about. Okay, thank you. And uh, so we will see you next Thursday, this, this coming Thursday. And, uh, and after that, uh, I will be traveling to India and Nepal. And so we will be continuously doing um, our Facebook Live. Even I will, I will be traveling, so I don't know exactly what time I have to get up to go to sleep. But uh, I am uh, continuously planning to do that. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.